welcome back guys so in this video i'll be testing alan wake 2 on my windows pc that has a ryzen 5700x 3d processor and an rtx 2070 super gpu i'll be showing you how to use newcom nice dlss g2 fsr3 mod via optiscaler mod to enable dlss for upscaler in conjunction with fsr 3.1 frame generation you must be wondering why i'm not using the standalone version of newcom nice mod the reason for it is that in this game dlss auto exposure setting is disabled by default with this setting disabled, the metallic objects in this game that have a shiny paint produce a shimmering like effect when viewed from a far off distance. Enabling DLSS auto exposure setting fixes this issue. FSR frame generation will work even with the standalone version of Nukem Nice Mod, but in order to enable DLSS auto exposure setting, we need to use either DLSS tweaks or OptiScaler. I'll use the latter. The game was updated a few days ago. This is the latest version 1.2.8 update log. Added support for DLSS for game uses DLSS upscaler version 310.1.0.0 model preset J. This uses the transformer AI model for DLSS super resolution accessible on every RTX GPU. NVIDIA has already released a new version of DLSS upscaler. It's version 310.2.1.0 that uses model preset K. Preset K is basically a refined version of preset J. I'll show you how to use it in this game. New AI model for DLSS frame generation is also included with the update, available for RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs. The game also supports DLSS multi-frame generation, exclusive to RTX 50 series GPUs. Two times frame generation option is available on RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs, and three times and four times options are available on RTX 50 series GPUs. Ray tracing performance has been improved as well thanks to RTX Mega Geometry. The game is still very demanding on the hardware. My GPU RTX 2070 Super can't handle it with ray tracing enabled. I'll be using DLSS debug overlay to verify the version of the upscaler and its model preset. We'll be running this registry entry provided by Emos. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and execute this registry file. This will enable the debug overlay. If you want to disable the debug overlay, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Now click on file, click on save, close and execute this registry file. This will disable the debug overlay. As I want to enable it, I'll revert the change. Run the file. Click on yes. OK. That's it. First I'll run the vanilla version of the game. No mods installed. This game heavily relies on a motion blur like effect for the objects in the environment of the dark place. It's the other realm where Alan Wake is stuck, so it can be a bit confusing whether it's the game itself or the FSR frame generation mod that's creating the motion blur like effect. In game settings, display mode set to full screen, DLSS subscaler enabled using its quality preset, resolution upscale from 720p to full HD. DLSS legacy mode, don't use it. It will use the CNN model of DLSS. Latest model is transformer, in game vsync off. Post processing effects like motion blur, film grain, and lens distortion disabled using the medium preset. Ray tracing off using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. There's Alan. I'll be testing the game in the dark place. This is a safe zone, bright light source. A texture shimmering like effect is produced around Alan's hair, easily noticeable during motion. See. Switching to DLA does not fix this shimmering effect as well. Native image has it. Okay, here base FPS is close to 70. You can see the debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Preset selected is J. Version of the upscaler 310.1.0. Auto exposure setting off. I'll be enabling auto exposure setting using OptiScaler mod. Okay, I'll just light up my flare. wanted to show you the broken shadow see it's flickering 
we need to enable ray tracing in order to fix this broken shadow it will tank the performance on my pc i'll drop the graphics preset to low ray tracing preset low back to the game you can see the blur like effect in the environment see now i'll ignite my flare check out the shadow flickering has stopped <laughs> fps dropped to 30 okay now i'll install the mod if you have epic games version of the game you can just use nvidia app to overwrite the tlss subscaler and its model preset just open nvidia app click on graphics click on the three dots here click on refresh ln wake 2 should show up select it scroll down until you find driver settings click on the drop down bar next to tlss overwrite model presets select the second option use different settings for each tlss technology Ray reconstruction and super resolution settings are available on every rtx gpu for both of them just select latest this way the latest version of tlss upscaler and its model preset will load up while and wake 2 you don't need to manually change any game files apply a viewer told me that they sailed the high seas to obtain the game game was not showing up in nvidia app they requested me to show the process of manually updating tlss upscaler so i'll just show that method now click on restore here revert the changes just download the latest tlss upscaler version from tech power ups website this is the version 310.2.1.0 click on download here click on any of these servers download will start open tlss subscalers archive file copy this tll file just paste it in the games install directory open epic games library click on the three dots below the games box art click on manage click on the folder icon here paste the tll file replace the older version with the newer version check the version 310.2.1.0 by default it will use the model preset k you can verify this using the tlss debug overlay i'll be using the nightly build of optiscaler mod you can download it from optiscaler's github page we'll give its link in the description and just expand the set section here click on the dot 7z link this is the build version 0.7.7 preview 7 2025 nukem 9's tlss g2 fsr3 mod is not included with optiscaler mod you need to provide it manually you can download it from here just download this dot tll file dlss g2 fsr3 amd is better i'll give the link to this website in the description this is version 0.110 of nukem 9's mod now i'll show you optiscaler setup open its archive file select all of the files present inside this archive file copy go back paste change the name of nvngx.tll file to dxj.tll open nvngx.ini file scroll down until you find tlss g section from here we need to set tlss g mod to true by default it's set to auto which corresponds to false also set spoof hacks to false click on file click on save close copy the highlighted files four of them need to paste them in the games install directory right here we also need to provide nukem 9's mod file copy the mod file dlsg to fsr3 amd is better paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous mod files right here the mods have been installed now we are ready to run the game make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting is enabled right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings click on graphics then click on advanced graphics settings from here enable hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting if your monitor supports variable refresh rate enable the setting as well now I'll enable vsync from nvidia control panel click on manage 3d settings click on program settings from this drop down bar select allen wake 2 scroll down to the end enable vsync on apply 
my monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the G-Sync settings. Click on Setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. When we enable DLSS frame generation using Nukem 9 mod, NVIDIA Reflex gets enabled automatically. Reflex on with VSync enable from NVIDIA control panel. Caps the FPS at a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. For example, if your display supports up to 144Hz refresh rate, FPS will be capped at 138. If your display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, the FPS will be capped at 225. This helps in lowering the latency and produces a smooth looking animation. Launch the game. In game settings, display mode full screen. DLSS subscaler selected using its quality preset. I'll just switch to DLA native image. DLSS frame generation setting got unlocked. The mod work two times. Post processing effects disabled. I'm using the game's medium preset with ray tracing off. We are in open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. On this drop down bar, select the upscaler. I am using DLSS. It's version 54.2.1. This is the latest version. You can see this and the debug overlay as well. 310.2.1. Preset use K. Base and upscale resolution are exactly the same. DLA is working. Here you can see auto exposure setting is off. Enable this setting from auto scaler menu. Auto exposure. Check. Status change in the debug overlay. It worked. Make sure HDR setting is enabled as well. Render preset used is K by default, so we don't need to use OptiScaler's render preset override setting. For example, if the render preset was set to anything other than K, just enable render preset override setting. Click on the drop down bar next to override preset and select K. Different options are available. There's K. Apply changes. Not required. Uncheck the box apply close okay games hud elements are not flickering but debug hole is flickering as expected the overlay is not a part of the game's interface i'll disable it fps is within a range of 80 to 90 with dla some shimmering is still present around alan's hair edit overlay.reg file replace number 4 with 0 Click on file, click on save, close, execute this file. Now I'll use DLSS quality preset, 720p resolution. Rest of the settings are left as this. With FSR frame generation on, some ghosting is produced around our character during motion. This ghosting effect is not easily observable in brightly lit environments, but in a dark environment, you should be able to observe this effect Upon close observation, lower base FPS values exacerbates this ghosting issue. Try to aim for a minimum of 60 as the base FPS in this game. Even with DLSS quality preset, the image quality is looking sharp. If our character is close to left or right edges of the display, double images will be produced as you can see. This happens in the case of Nukem Nice Mod. Just observe Alan's shotgun double image can be seen around it just make sure the character is at the center of the display frame pacing graph is not a flat line optiscaler community member Merlin told me that it was due to the recent changes in streamline this should not affect the game's performance it's running very smoothly oh my god in the outdoor area fps is close to 110 bad at all i'll just ignite my flare A shadow is flickering. Need to enable ray tracing now to fix this flickering. It's not due to Nukem 9's mod. I'll drop the flare here. And just observe the gun of my character. There is a minor ghosting effect. Very difficult to observe it. But it's definitely present. At lower base FPS values like 30. This ghosting effect will become easily noticeable. Nukem 9's mod does an amazing job in this game to improve the performance. It's highly recommended to use this mod in games that 
support TLSS frame generation. The mod simply replaces it with FSR frame generation. Now I'll enable ray tracing. Quality preset set to low. Same thing for ray tracing preset. In the menu, FPS is capped at 2 to 5. So, Reflex plus VSync combo is also working. Reload the same checkpoint. Now we are getting an FPS with a range of 55 to 60. Without the mod, FPS here was around 30. Yeah, now you can see the ghosting around Alan's character model. See, I was talking about it earlier. This ghosting effect becomes easily noticeable at lower base FPS values. So I would recommend targeting a minimum of 60 as the base FPS in this game to avoid this ghosting issue when using Nukem 9's TLSS G2 FSR 3 mod. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.